morning, everyone. It's a wonderful Monday, and a beautiful Monday, actually. Um, let me read from the book of Psalm, chapter 42, verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, my, praise Him, my salvation and my God. Let me read that once again. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, my salvation and my God. Hope in God. The way the world uses the word hope and the way the Bible uses the word hope is very, very different. When the world says, I hope for something, it's future-oriented, which is what you know, hope in Bible is. The huge difference is that the world uses the word hope as a wishful thinking. There's uncertainty there. I wish I get that, or I wish this happens to me. There is this uncertainty. It could, it may not, most likely not kind of attitude there. I hope that happens. I hope this happens. There, there is no certainty there. It's just a wishful thinking. You could actually replace that word with, a, with the word wish, and it will still make sense, right? I wish that happens to me. I wish that happens to you. But the way the Bible uses the word hope is very different. The way the Bible uses the word hope is that it's as if it's already happened, right? It's as if it already happened. That's why in the Old Testament, when, when the prophets were writing prophecies about future, it's not written in the future tense, right? This will happen. It's written as if it already has happened, in that the verb tense is always in the past tense. Which, is, which means what? When the Bible says to use the word hope, hope in God in this case, it's as good as it's already happened. Why? Because whenever God makes promises, He always keeps them. Today, the, the biblical writer says this, he, he's talking to himself, why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you in turmoil? He's, he's talking to himself, he's preaching to himself in that saying, hey, why are you that way? Instead of looking at your problems, instead of looking at what, what's causing that, look at God and hope in Him. Hope in Him. He who always keeps His promises. You know, we often do that, don't we? When things happen, maybe today or maybe tomorrow, or things always happen. And instead of focusing on the one who will strengthen us, to overcome these issues, we tend to look at the issues and cave in. You know, let me just ask you, what is your posture like when you're going through some difficult times or depressing times? I bet you, you know exactly what your posture is like when you're going through tough times. Maybe your, 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 body, your, your shoulder slouches, your head's down, and, and you have, you're physically, you're already in turmoil. But when you're hoping God, when you expect the best from God, because all God's promises are yes, there's no reason to physically live that way. You know, get your shoulder up, right? Be proud of who you are in God, because God is your Lord. God is your God. God is the one who is your Father, and He'll take care of you. Don't doubt that. One of the verses, the promises that God makes that I keep on and it helps me in ministry, helps me in life, helps me in the family, is Romans 8, 28. For all things work together for good to those who love God and who are called by His purpose, what? To become like His Son, Jesus Christ. All things work together. I love that verse. It keeps me going when things seem to not go the way I think it should go. The psalmist says, Oh my soul, why are you downcast? Why are you in trouble? Why don't you look at God, not on your problems? Why don't you look at the one who makes all these promises and keeps them, not in the problems that you're going through, the, the, the difficulties that you're going through? Does that mean don't solve it? Of course not. But solve it while you're looking at God. He will give you strength. Are you tempted to do something that you ought not to? Look at God. Is something happening in your life where you're like, man, why does it always happen to me? Look at God. He will give you the wisdom and the strength to rise above the issues of life that you may be going through right now or may go through tomorrow. My friends, may you hope in God today and may He give you strength. 
hold on to his promises. That when you're downcast, when your soul is in turmoil, instead of focusing on your problem, look at God. Fix your eyes upon Jesus and he will strengthen you and give you the wisdom to rise, rise above the issues of life. I'll see you tomorrow and God bless you.